brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. During his State of the Island address two weeks ago, Governor Eddie Calvo said the Guam Memorial Hospital is, quote, bleeding cash and needs a transfusion right away. But it may very well be on the road to recovery today. So with that, I will affix my signature on Bill 277-33, and it shall become law. Bill 277 was passed two weekends ago and would direct Gita to develop and publish a request for information relative to how an interested contractor, hospital management team, or operator would transition from the government operation of GMH to a public-private partnership. The bill's author and committee on health chairman, Senator Dennis Rodriguez, Jr. The challenges the hospital face are decades, are decades old, nothing new. And so um, this starts that process. I'm glad that uh, Ms. Claudia <coughs> Fauci is here from um, GSA, mm -hmm. who is our chief procurement officer, mm -hmm. because there's been a lot of um, 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 lies, and I'll say it the way it is, lies that, you know, that are put out there. And, you know, um, these are false statements that are being made about this process. Right. Um, and we owe it to our people, and I thank the governor for, for his support. Rodriguez reiterates that the law does not move into the public-private partnership immediately, but rather explores and gathers as much information to see if moving in that direction is beneficial. GMH Administrator Peter John Camacho thanked Rodriguez for thinking out of the box. I mean, these are all wonderful things and, and an opportunity for, for the hospital to look down that road and, and look to at one, some point in time in the near future to be self-sustained, to be able to um, manage the resources that we have. Meanwhile, this bill falls in line with other plans to help stabilize GMH in the foreseeable future. During his address, Governor Calvo spoke about partnering with Rodriguez to borrow $120 million for capital improvements, $30 million of which, he says, will be an immediate cash infusion for GMH. Roughly on the borrowing, about half of it is on the immediate uh, cap, uh, operational expenditure requirements, those monies that are owed uh, to vendors. Um, and we, we need to make good of that. The other uh, half is on the repair work uh, and capital improvements necessary as well. The loan would first deal with requirements of paying off vendors and then doing the capital improvements and renovations necessary for the hospital. The repayment source would be through Section 30 funds. Governor Calvo says he'll be introducing the bill for the loan within the next month or two. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintanizo. You can see that. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.